Good morning, Hudson High. You may now observe a moment of silence. Please stand and join me for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice to all. Today is Friday, February 4th, day one. Attention all student drivers. You need to drive slowly and responsibly when entering and exiting our parking lot and be cautious of people in the crosswalks. This is not Crossy Road. It is hard to see around the snowbounds. You will lose your driving privileges if you are identified as an unsafe driver. Also, please tell your parents that they can carefully pull past the crosswalk to drop off students and make room for more cars entering the parking lot. This will help with our traffic problem. The Aspen portal will be open for students to schedule their electives beginning next week. Please go to counseling website to view materials and make an informed decision. The deadline is next Friday, February 11th. Counselors will be available during all lunches next week in ARC to help with this process. It's not too late to submit an application form for the senior internship program. You have until Sunday, February 6th at 5 p.m. There will be two informational sessions happening next week on Thursday, February 10th during ARC and after school. Please email Ms. H and guidance for more information. The interest application can be found in the round robin. Need some help with your math homework or some extra practice and review before a test? Come to the Math Center. The Math Center will be open Tuesday from 2 to 3 p.m. in G105. No appointment needed. This week marks the start of Black History Month. During Black History Month, we recognize the history of black people, celebrating their accomplishments and acknowledging the systematic injustices that persist even today. As a special feature in the morning announcements this month, we'll be reading quotes from black leaders about justice, success, courage, and excellence. We leave you today with a look at this week's powerful quotes. Have a great day, Hudson High. La injusticia en cualquier parte es una amenaza para la injusticia en todas las partes. Dr. Martha Luther King Jr., civil rights leader, MLK Jr., is remembered around the world for his vision of equality and his incredible leadership of the civil rights cause. Sempre a luz se formos corajosos suficiente para vê-lo, se ao menos fosse corajoso suficiente para sê-lo. Amanda Gorman, poeta inaugurada mais jovem das, da história dos Estados Unidos, Gorman é graduada em cum laude da Universidade de Harvard e leu sua poesia original na posse do presidente Biden em 2021. Antes disso, em 2017, Gorman foi nomeada a primeira National Young Poet Laureate pela Urban World. If they don't give you a seat at the table, bring a folding chair. Shirley Chisholm, the first black woman elected to the United States Congress in 1968, was also the first woman to campaign for the Democratic Party's presidential nomination, known as Fighting Shirley. Her campaign slogan still feels relevant today, unbought and unbossed. I prayed for freedom for 20 years, but received no answer until I prayed with my legs. Frederick Douglass, social reformer and national reader of the abolitionist movement. Incredibly, Douglass escaped from slavery in Maryland and wrote three autobiographies, for example. You may have read his most well-known work, Narrative of the Life of Frederick Douglass, an American Slave in School. <laughs>